Now this example that is about the very famous example we call this is the traveling salesman problem or in short TSP yeah so the problem is something like that so given a set of n cities for example we have a city a transportation problem so look one look two look three look four look five look six yeah so they can be in different position yeah so i just randomly draw them like this so what we are going to do that is this problem is that we do not have a starting point so that means we can start at any node for example if we start at loop 5 and then next we have to go through all the nodes once so for example that is 5 goes to 3 and then 3 goes to 1 and then it does not allow you to go back to 3 yeah so 1 goes to 6 6 go to 2 2 go to 4 and then the final destination that is itself goes to 5 in this case in this case that means um this is the step what we are going to find the solution that is when we apply the end system or any kind of any end um currently optimization problem first we are going to place the different number of ends in different nodes in this case i just paste one end at one node so actually you can paste more than one end at any node so when we run the algorithm, we are going to allow the end to find a complete path. For example, like this, um, like this case, and then find the path for each end, and then let's update the pheromone intensity through the negative feedback and um, positive feedback. Go to the stop two, uh, I mean the step two. Repeat this process until we until the algorithm meet meets the stopping criterion okay and now what i'm going to show you that is an example with five looks right here to demonstrate how it works so we need to have some information before we start the first one that is the number of cities at the moment i assume that this example we have one two three four five city the dash line right here they show the connection you will just find out that it is a fully connected system yeah so one can go to every city two can go to every city and so and so yeah so this is the local information that means associated with each edge we have the local information dij so for example when we talk about one two we have d one two according to this information one two that is ten so d one two that is ten and then i assume that this is symmetric that means we have d two one yeah so two one that is 10 as well yeah so this is the dij information associated with each edge and then so we also have the tau ij that is the thermon concentration i assume that this is this is the current concentration at the moment so again we have tau one two that is one two that is 0 0.3 assume the symmetric case three two one that is zero point three as well so in order to start the algorithm i just paste one end at each node so one two three four five i have five ends x1 the starting node that is one x2 that is this end and then this is x2 starting from two and we have uh, we have x3 that is this guy x3 t that is starting from 3 and so on so this is the initial node now i'm going to apply the transition probability and then so we determine that for n1 it goes to 3 and then so in this example in this figure i did not show uh, the path for n2 to n5 so i but i just include information the next node information right here so n1 it take this path so we have one three n2 that is going from two to one and so and so yeah so 
This is not a complete path because we need to visit all other cities and then go back to the city one. So we are going to have apply the transition probability and then so we repeat this process, we are going to update uh, the, all the solution. Now that is one, three, two, written right here, we repeat this process until we find the complete path. So N1, that is one, three, two, five, four, one. And then N2, that is something like that. In order to calculate the cost, once we have this path, and then so we substitute, we are going to use the information of the D right here, the D table right here. So one, three, according to this table, one, uh, sorry, one, one, three, that is three. And then three, two, three, two, that is two. So D one, three, that is three. D three, two, that is two. D two, five, uh, this is two, five, that is line. So according to this table, we can come up with the cost. And we repeat this process and we find out the cost corresponding to each end right here. And now, now, Actually, we have gone through this step. We have gone through this step right here. That means find the path and then calculate the cost. Now we are going to do this part. This part that is to reduce the pheromone concentration. After we reduce the pheromone concentration, we are going to do this bit. Yeah. Okay. And now. This is the evaporation of the pheromone intensity. That is the negative feedback. So, because um, say when we choose rho, that is zero point two, and then this bit that is zero point eight. So, if we look at the tau five four at the moment, tau five four that is zero point two. Yeah, tau five four that is zero. 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 given by 1 minus rho, that is 0 0.16. We are going to calculate the tau for every value right here, that is the whole table times 0 0.8. And then that is the new value of tau after Fermont, uh, after Fermont evaporation. And now I'm going to do the positive feedback that is to apply this update rule. This one that is from the simple end colony optimization, and then this one that is for the end system with elitism implemented. Yeah. So take a look at this one. I consider the edge 54 up up to this moment. When we consider all these end solution, we have end one using the edge 54 n2 using the h54 as well as the n5 using h54 so tau ij now that is tau 54 this one that is the tau 54 after negative feedback that is this value so this is 0 0.16 and then now i'm going to expand this this one over 35 that is the first end the contribution made by first end using this bit yeah so when q that is one because i choose q that is one so q divided by the cost of the n1 that would be 35 so one over 35 so because we have five ends and then we move on to the next end that is x2 one that is this one is q this one is q equals equals one 55 that is the fx2 yeah so fx2 right here that is 55 and then now actually we have two zero because x3 x4 the delta that is zero right here i omit that the last one over 40 that is given contributed by the last n x5 so you will just find out that originally 
tau 54 that is 0 0.2 after thermal evaporation it becomes 0 0.16 and then after we perform the positive feedback the value is increasing yeah so the tau 54 that is increasing when we compare with those edges do not visit it by the end and then you will just find out that the pheromone concentration is reducing yeah so that means those link will become or i mean those edges will become less attractive but this one will become more attractive because more end visit this link yeah okay so that's why this is called a positive feedback and now we consider this case as so when we consider the same path 54 now 0 0.16 coming from here and then now i'm going to use the n quantity to define this delta tau, tau ij n quantity that is q divided by dij you will just find out that dij that is given by dij that is d54 for our example d54 five for the cost the local cost that is 15 yeah 15 so this one is given by the n1 because n1 used the path by four so one over d1 yeah one over d54 D54 that is 15 and then this is the contribution made by N1 and then this the second 1 over 15 that is the contribution made by N2 and then because of N3 and N4 they do not use this N so we have 0 plus 0 because we are considering this contribution the last 1 over 15 that is made by the N5 now I just handle this bit the summation now I'm going to handle this one this is the elitism elitism component right here we just find out that the best solution that is 50 uh, 35 okay so I'm going to denote x tilde to be x1 so the number of n the number of best end that is one so n e that is one so that is this one this is n e equals one and then now i'm going to talk about this delta delta tau i j e according to our definition according to um the definition given before so this is one over 35 yeah so that is given right um right here so i'm talking about this term q divided by q over the cost of the best n so that's why we have the last term that is 1 over 35 you compare with the simple end colony optimization now the vermont of tau 54 that is even larger so that's why we call this is the elitism when we find the best path and then so we are going to give more reward to the best path compared with uh, the long elite path yeah